All right, working on uh, cutting out holes for my 6x9s. i got those JBL GTOs. I don't know if I want to put that one back there. Maybe I could cover it. I mean, the wire's already run. That's going to be the, the only thing that really would make me stick with that. It's just terrible positioning for right here for sound. Hey. But, um, I mean, you're not going to win here. Um, but yeah, at least gonna get this one knocked out and we'll see how that goes. I got my oscillating tool, so that makes it easy, especially like replacing the stereo, trying to make that hole bigger. You could get in your nose and the stuff. So that's all I'm gonna work on now. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is just going to be a little more delicate than I can do with one hand, but uh, you get the idea. That's what I'm going to do all the way around, then put the speakers in. Well, not too bad so far, but this stuff's going to be pretty bad. Move some things so they didn't have dust all over them. <laughs> I don't have any face masks, so uh, I guess I'm wearing a uh, scarf, trying to at least keep some of that dust out of my, out of my lungs, because you don't want to breathe in that fiberglass dust. But that's the wire, so I've already got my connectors done. I don't even have to do that, which is the nice thing about them putting that in before. Questioning whether or not I want to make something a little more solid for uh, the sound for the bass. Uh, I don't know what towels are doing back there. Someone put those in at some point, but um, hopefully there's no leaks there. But I didn't see any mold, anything wet, but. Um, yeah, trying to do something. There is access kind of to that. I can get to it from here. There's just a little thin piece of wood back there. So I could make this bigger or do something into here if I wanted a little access or put some kind of box or a little flat, uh, you know, flappy little door to get in behind there. Um, just for more storage for certain things but uh just that's what uh, you're gonna see when you start ripping into one of these well that's done i don't know how much was uh cutting and how much was burning <laughs> uh but uh, got through it um somehow a few less teeth in there i don't know if i was missing those before or after a little bit of dust not too bad but enough to grab there and that's what this looks like on the back no going back on that uh, I guess you could refiber glass it in but we're happy with six benigns I got extra six benigns if I wanted to keep mine um, but yeah so ready to put that in um, Maybe clean this up a little bit, grab like a, an alcohol pad I got sitting around or something, wipe that clean. Uh, I would like to put some insul some kind of, uh, not insulation, but like weather stripping behind that just so it doesn't rattle because you got plastic on fiberglass. Uh, that's gonna, it's gonna vibrate if nothing else. Um, I mean, you can kind of see what that was like before. Some of that's residue, some of that's maybe some scratching but um not a big deal it's probably be covered um I, i've got some clips kind of similar to this it's not this exact one because these are for more like bolts but they have some little clips that you can put in the corners to help reinforce so you just screw right into it gets into the other side so it doesn't rip out your material when it moves around otherwise i might put some uh I might look at just gluing some wood on the back of that, but um, and that just kind of help reinforce it a little bit more too. But I I don't know how necessary that is. I'm just running a couple speakers off of a uh, stereo that I'm putting in here, so sound quality is not going to be awesome. It'll be probably great for the passengers, but um, I'm not looking for any sound quality. Um, like competition sound quality just 
just enough to sound good. All right, so I got one mounted, and yes, I'm aware the wood screws make me look stupid, um, but with all the thousands of screws I have, I don't happen to have any uh, any machines. Well, not really machine screws, but the uh, the flat headed screws. So that's what I got. Those aren't going to fall out. They're they're in there pretty tight, so I'm happy until. Uh, until I'm actually able to drive this thing, because it's uh, currently not drivable. So, uh, it's mostly done. If I need to get some screws later, I can. But all the other screws I had, the pan head screws, um, those were all all too short. Um, I, was, I was really surprised that they need to be like two inches long just to be able to uh, to catch onto anything. So, all the like one inch screws that I have, which would have worked perfectly, don't work with the grill cover on.